glory to Jesus. So welcome, welcome, wherever you are. Ah, yeah, yeah. It is another great, great, great opportunity God has given unto us so that we may hear from his throne. Karibu sana, wherever you are, text your friend, invite your friend, help me to share, start our party in Jesus' mighty name, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight is a, such a great night. We are hardering one of the very tricky, tricky and hard topic, the topic of repentance. Hey, hey, hey. First of all, I'm going to Kezia, Naema, I'm going to be a good one. I'm going to be a about repentance. Uh, Sylvester, karibu karibu sana kamau. Tonight ni topic kari sana the topic of repentance. A very great topic, don't miss it. Unataka kujua kwamba how are you supposed to repent? Do we have repentance in the new covenant? If we have, how are you supposed to repent? If we don't have, what are you supposed to do? So, these are the questions that we are supposed and we are going to answer all of them. Uh, in a mighty way. If you help me to invite your friend, help me to share, uh, and I guarantee you, your life will never be the same again. In Jesus' mighty name. Patricia, Mama Kelvin, God bless you. Yes, we are talking of the true repentance. The true repentance. The true repentance. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you for those who are already sharing. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. Hey, hey, hey. Leo pa Pastor Lois, uh sisi e para mutithia me fika mapema sana. God bless you mtumisho Mungu. Doris Tiaro, barikiwa sana Joel Gotho. Leo watu wako serious sana wamefika mapema sana. Aha. Yes, yes. Sharing is caring. Yes, sharing is caring. What you say here, what to understand about repentance, how they are supposed to repent. Yes. What to agree ni wengi sana, what to agree ni ready. <laughs> These are, I promise you, Sylvester unaongea. This is one of the greatest topic. Yes, repentance, repentance. Aha, aha. Tutangalia repentance. Uh, tutangalia the repentance before uokoke na repentance after kuokoka. Kana kwamba kuna tofauti, repentance ya old covenant na repentance ya new covenant. Tutangalia and I believe with that uh, kila kitu kitakuwa sawa. Yes, by the way you can start a watch party. Share to all those groups. What on Manchester? I can see you. Noni noni. <laughs> karibu sana. Karibu sana. Margaret Wagare. Wakanyi. Timothy Karonga. Koi Wangoi. You cannot miss this one. You cannot miss this one. Aha. Aha. Niambia mahali huko. Whether ni Mombasa. <clears throat> Mombasa. Nakuru. Isaac Kuria. Karibu sana. Tunaangalia the topic of repentance. Masori yote yanahusu repentance tunayajibu. How are you supposed to repent? Yes, how? Tutaangalia vile sasa kina Peter alikuwa anarepent, Paul alikuwa anarepent na mna gani? Uh, the correct one in a Bible. <coughs> Bible atatuelezea. Bible atatuelezea tu yenyewe. Tutaachilia Bible it interpret yenyewe. Let the Bible interpret itself. Na tutabarikiwa. Kuna watu wengi sana wameongea juu ya repentance sana pastor shughulikia hiyo sana watu wa Doha nimewaona watu Mombasa i have seen you <laughs> yes pastor monithi anawaambia vizuri sana share at least 27 groups hebu imagine hebu imagine watu about kona wao hapa kila mtu aki invite watu wanne asi waine invite watu watatu just three of them uh, gatuma rangata kabisa rongai magi magi na muona Seremiri ad ad river kondani sana. Eh. <laughs> watu watu wasikie, watu watu wasikie, watu watu wasikie. Kama Royce karibu sana. Share to all those groups. Share to all of them. 
in Jesus' mighty name. Ruth Karonga. Yes, repentance is very important. That's it. Leo tunachambua. Tunaiscan, tunaiscan kabisa. Suzi su na kuona Saudi. What is repentance? How are you supposed to repent? So is it is kuna debate what wa grace what about na preach the gospel of grace kuna tu wengine nasema kama hapana tumesamehewa dhambi zote how are you supposed to repent why and how mesamehewa so i ni mabombo tutayataka tudeko undani sana na tutajaribu kuleta suluhisho kuangalia in accordance to the word of god how can you handle this and you can how can you handle this God willing if nitakuwa na nafasi nasema if nitakuwa na nafasi au siri tako confession kwa sababu confession ni topic yenyewe kubwa sana maneno kuna yale mambo nafaa ku confess mkristo mtu ambaye ni believer mtu ambaye ameokoka kuna mambo ambayo nafaa ku confess mambo kama sita, saba, if i'm not wrong or ten. ah nikiwa na nafasi ni taihando if nitakuwa na nafasi tatengenezea siku ya yake kabisa Sarah me God bless you. Nasema kwamba ameshare to 20 people. Esther cha usiku. Karibu sana. Lucy again God bless you. This tonight is such a night repentance. I know imehubiriwa watu na bua repent but how are they going to repent? So si blessed karibu sana. So that's what tunataka tuangalie. How are you supposed to repent? Sia to watu na watu wasia to wamejerewa sana. Pito wawero karibu sana. Watu wasia to leo wamejerewa sana. Nimeona nimeona tu wawili hivi. Watu wasia to, watu wasia to ingia ni msaidie watu wengine. Greece wako, Doha wameingia. Dubai have seen them, Saudi have seen them. Germany, Germany not yet. Germany bado sija waona. Germany sija waona. Baha, Baharini have seen them. Yes. This is the time. This is the time now. Get get ready. Chukua kitabu yako. Take your note. Aga uh, oh, Grace kama usia watu wa Seattle mianza kuwaona Saudi wako wengi sana. Names nimekuona. Don't miss this one. Don't miss this one. How are you supposed to repent? How? I know I know I know kuna mambo tutajaribu kuto na na kuto Nisha. Watu wa Germany nimeona nani? Edith watu wa US I can see them. God bless you. Welcome. Ah <laughs> tena mwangira sema kwamba alikuwa hapa mapema Dubai I have seen them. Ati <laughs> alikuwa mapema sana. <laughs> Ati basa tujaribu tufika. <laughs> yes, yes, Pastor Roy does it. I know kuna watu wanaona sema kwamba once forgiven. Yes, forever clean. Na hii tutaitaka. So I don't know, I don't know kwa sababu still topic of forgiveness kuna aina kadhaa za forgiveness kama tano. Kuna, aina, kuna types of forgiveness by the way na tutajaribu ku handle all of them we are going to handle all of them but ah <laughs> god help us tonight god help us tonight. so lazima tutako repentance lazima tutako confession na lazima tutako forgiveness is a believer supposed to ask for forgiveness are you supposed to pray for forgiveness na wewe ni mtu wa new covenant I ni mabobo tutataka by the way how I don't know kana kuguzia forgiveness today but God willing if sitaguza today don't miss manake tutaitengea si kwa sababu topic ya forgiveness ni kubwa sana I know hii na masori mengi sana ukimtumesamehewa dhambi kabisa once and for all are you supposed to ask for forgiveness So what about confession are you supposed to confess your sins Bearing in mind after the introduction of the new covenant the word confession ya thambi haijatajwa zaidi ya mara tatu kwa new covenant so what is this what are you supposed to confess if you are supposed to confess your sins how na ukisamehewa can you be forgiven and still you ask for forgiveness so kuna dhambi haujasamehewa then how are you supposed to go about repentance How are you supposed to repent? Okay, na bada sabona, are you supposed to tell God, God I repent? By telling God you repent. Ume repent. So I ni mabobo tutaacha mbwa kwa undani and don't miss it. Don't miss it. Call your friend, tag your friend. Wacha tuongee the topic ya repentance. Ni topic ngumu sana I tell you. Ni topic ngumu sana, ni topic imefundishwa vibaya sana. 
Anazima to differentiate repentance in the old covenant na repentance in the new covenant. Alafu to differentiate repentance before salvation na repentance after salvation. Totally different. Totally different. Zote tutaangalia repentance after salvation ni ya nini? Ni kama forgiveness after salvation to are you supposed to ask for forgiveness na umesamehewa na damu ya Kristo kumwagika hapo lazima tuangalie types kama tano za forgiveness maana kuna types kama tano za forgiveness you need to understand come on get ready get ready get ready get ready get ready yes we are almost there we have two minutes we go all one minute uh hii topic ni very interesting don't miss this one don't miss this one Don't miss this one. Sasa ukimiss hii alafu wabio repent, utatubu namna gani? Eddie then amesema kwamba ameshea tayari. Ah, how many? How many? How many wameshea? How many wameshea? Nimeona mtumishi wa Mungu, Pastor Didraf. God bless you. Mtumishi wa Mungu, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Aha. Mm, yes, 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 yes. In the top in the is the topic you cannot afford to miss i tell you you cannot because you have been repenting how bitterness wa joy karibu sana so if you met ukumekuku umekuku kitubu namna gani <laughs> tutaangalia peter alitubu namna gani paul alitubu namna gani daudi alitubu namna gani judas alitubu namna gani saul wa old testament alitubu namna gani That's it. Milbo, I can see you so. Wacha tuendelee sasa. Let's go. Let's go now. Watu wengi sana wameshea, watu wengi sana wameshea. <laughs> Julia ameshea. Milbo, have you shared to your friends and kwa 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 those groups? <clears throat> Share kama watu that's it that's it that's it too much because it topic is very important especially wakat kama huyu wakat kama huyu sasa do you go live on youtube Aha. by the way after immediately after this it topic na iweka youtube na iweka so na iweka youtube so hakisha kwamba ume subscribe pale kwa youtube referred kevas karanja subscribe mahali pale easy topic zote ziko hapa kwa facebook na zichukua na ziweka pale kwa YouTube. Kwa hivyo utasikiza pale na unajua kwamba YouTube ni rahisi sana kusikiza. Yes. Ah, Jonas sema kwa hawezi. I tell you, in very important. This one is very important. This one that's why nimegojea gojea watu kwa sababu nimegojea ushie ili to start vizuri sana. Maana ke stack potee. Jane Jim ita watu wa buruburu waite sasa. <laughs> call of them ah uh, niti nini ah uh, watu huko <laughs> oh ah <laughs> uh, this one watu wamesema kwamba eh hey, na if unajua kwamba kuna mtu ambaye huwa mnakaa na yeye kwa class na haumuoni muulize kwa nani amechelewa wapi if kuna mtu ambaye huwa mnakaa na yeye kwa class shiko anasema kwamba kawa hapo hawezi miss this one Even had to miss was cause kama hii repentance by the way na tuna repent how are you repenting by the way how are you going about it because there is no way you can repent bila kujua that's it that's it that's it Sylvester that's it vile unafaa kuongea na Mungu na don't forget ukiokoka unaongea as your father As your father how are you supposed to communicate to your father how are you supposed to address your father how are you supposed to ask forgiveness to your father how are you supposed to, to, to repent before your father very important so hakisha kwamba youtube ah ume subscribe mahali pale reverend ka kevas karancha mhm if you are like page ni vibaya sana just like that page we go now Ah watumishi wa Mungu ambao wanaingia karibu sana naweza kuja kwa naweza kosa kumtambua all of, you, all of you but karibuni sana karibuni sana so we are ready to go now 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 ah 
Sisi blessa eh si lazima aliogopa sija mpata jana siko mpata <laughs> na <laughs> I know ataingia na Jacob ataingia leo lazima ataingia repeaters lazima ataingia lazima ataingia very important very very important very 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 important today that I go Mario sija muona so wacheni sasa tuendelee vizuri in Jesus mighty name get your bible get your bible get your bible now uh, kwa wale bwana wageni the reason why tunachambua uh, the topic of repentance by the way Catherine you are not right tumegojea watu kidogo kwa sababu ni vyema sana kuogojea wafike namba alafu tu tuendelee vizuri sana sai wako namba nzuri let's continue na wewe ukiingia share ukiingia share watch to say repentance the true repentance that's it that's it the true repentance it is to understand higher mambo how are you supposed to repent in the new covenant yes eh ni tia farodhi eh suzi blessed anaita farodhi muite muuliza kwa wapi eh kwanza kwanza hii ni nzuri sana kusaidia watu ambao wako kwa kwa kwa, kwa radio pale kwa show zake zile kari kari yes hata masekwin simuoni mhm thank you anaitwa hapa Ah sike juice karibu sana. Na, na pia tone leo sijamuona na huwa namwalika sana. So get ready now take your bible. Nimesema ya kwamba there is on why tuna tackle this topic because tumekuta kitambua the book of revelation. Yote kabisa na tuko revelation chapter number 9. Chapter number 9. Na tuliona kwamba there is on why kuna wrath of God ina, inaanguka na itakuja kuanguka the time of tribulation. Si eti kwa sababu Mungu anataka kuangamiza watu wote. No no no. Tuliona kwamba ni kwa sababu Mungu anataka watu watubu. Na before nianze pale, wacha tuangalie the book of Revelation chapter number 9 and verse number 20. Revelation chapter number 9 verse number 20 and verse number 21. Revelation chapter number 9 verse 20 and verse number 21. And I believe kwa kwamba leo niko na watu hapa ambao watakuwa at least wanapostia watu hapa wengine ambao uh, watasoma kwa haraka sana. Nimeona pasa mulidi ameniambia kwamba ni jaribu sana ni the one eighth of the topic. <laughs> I tell you nitajaribu sana na tena saki kukumbia leo nataka niende pole pole ili kile mtu understand hii topic kwa sababu ni kati ya ile topic unafaa ku understand kwa zile topic ini topic ambayo unafaa ku understand kwa sababu tunaitumia karibu kila siku. Karibu kila siku. Karibu kila siku kabisa. Eh naona watu wanauliza hapa farodhi kwani nilikamata na week. <laughs> So watch at some revelation chapter number 9 and verse number 20 and 21 The rest of the mankind that were not killed by these plagues still did not repent still did not repent of their work of their hands they did not stop worshiping demons or idols of gold silver bronze stone and wood idols that cannot see or here all walk verse number 21 nor did they repent of their manders their magic acts their sexual immorality or their thefts can you hear the meaning hata mungu hata kikubarisha yale mambo yatendeke the reason why anakubarisha ni ili watu wa repent ni ili watu wa tubu get that get that so wacheni tuombe so that we may continue Baba katika jina takatifu na Bwana Yesu Kristo wa Bwana ili tusikize baba kutoka kwako kuna watu wa Bwana tufuatilia kuna wengine baba wataingia kutufuatilia mpaka baadaye natangaza baba watu wataelewa kile ambacho baba nataka waelewe utatuelimisha utatufundisha Bwana fungua mawazo yetu Fungua mioyo yetu Bwana ili baba tuko kujue kwa neno lako. Wacha baba tuko kuone kwa neno lako Bwana. Wacha familia zibarikiwe. Wacha wa mama wabarikiwe. Wacha wanalika wabarikiwe na wazee. Natangaza ushindi wako Bwana. Roho mtafanya kazi yako. Endelea kufanya kazi ndani ya maisha yetu. Asante Jehovah go. Hakuna watu watachanganyikiwa Bwana. Wataelewa kile ambacho kimeandikwa kwa maandiko yako Bwana. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumioba na hata kuamini. Amen. 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 And amen. So get ready to mesoma kwamba amekuja in the book of Revelation. Mungu that's why kwa maana alikuwa anataka watubu. And that's why today we are tackling the topic of repentance. 
the topic of repentance. Get that. So I'm going to the book of Hebrews now. Hebrews chapter number six. Angaria Hebrews chapter number six. Hebrews chapter number six. Don't miss this one now. Verse number one. Hebrews chapter number six. Verse number one. And verse number two. And verse number. Yeah, in verse number two. Yes, Hebrews chapter number six. Verse number one and verse number two. Don't miss this one now. Don't miss this one. Don't miss this one now. Kuna watu wameniambia pastor nisikimbie. Walewe, tuko Hebrews chapter number 6 verse number 1. Hebrews chapter number 6 verse number 1. Bible inasema namna gani? Hebrews 6 verse number 1 and verse number 2. The Bible says follow me closely. Therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ. Get this now. Therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ. Let us go on unto perfection. Unto perfection. Not, mark this, not laying again, not laying again the foundation of repentance. The foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God and of doctrine of baptisms and of laying on of hearts and of resurrection of the dead and of the eternal judgment. Can you see the foundation of truth is come hari pale? There are six of them. Number one, foundation zile zimetajwa pale. Tumesema kitu ya kwanza imetajwa ni living again. Not living again the foundation of repentance. The foundation of repentance. Number one, repentance of the dead works and of faith toward God. That's number two. Aya ni mabo sita muhimu sana mabo ya naweka foundation. Wakati mkriso yote ya meokoka, haya mabo sita ya nampea msingi farm. Get this, ni mabo gani na gani? It is repentance. It is faith. Get this now. It is the doctrine of baptisms. Don't miss that one. Doctrine of baptisms. See baptism. It is baptisms. It is plural form. Get that. So it is repentance. It is faith toward towards God. Baptism. The doctrine of baptisms. The laying on of hands. Here on the topic. Kuwekerewa mikono ni topic. Yane. Muhim sana. Ina kupea foundation. Ina kupea foundation. Then iyo igine ato ni nini? Resurrection of the dead. Hiyo ni foundation. Lazima understand about the resurrection of the dead. Is it the topic ya mazo ni foundational? Zina kupea foundation farm. Alafu eternal judgment. Na topic ya eternal judgment. So kumetajwa topic sita ziko mahali pale. Zina pea mkristo foundation farm. But kile kina nijenga ni ya kuomba. Ile ya kwanza ni repentance. So kati ya zile topic sita zimetajwa na muadishi wa wahibriania. Topic ya kwanza ni ya repentance from the dead works. So that's why topic ya repentance is very very important. Na ukiona imetajwa kwanza sio mchezo. Kuna sababu, kuna reason why imetajwa kwanza. So that's why tonight we are tackling the topic of repentance as one of the foundational topics. Zina kupea msingi mzuri sana wa Mkristo. Kwa maana Mkristo ambaye haerewi repentance, ata miss mambo mingi sana. Ata miss, ata growth. Hata fika to maturity. Hata grow from one level to another. Hata move from one level ya growth to another. Na kuna level za growth kadhaa tokuja kuziangalia. Ukienda sana haya mambo utagro kutoka level hii level ingine paka ufike ile level tunasema ni ya a father level ya level ya pata ya father so leo tunaangalia the topic of repentance true repentance now what did you read swali moja the word repentance imetajwa mara ngapi kwa bible follow me closely The word repent is metajo marangapi ko Bible. The word repent 
according to King James. The word repent, according to King James, repent. According to King James, he may you 46 times. The word repent, 46 times. The word repentance, 26 times. The word repented, 32 times. The word repent, he may you 46 times. The word repentance, he may 26 times. The word repented, he may tell you 32 times. Don't miss that one. So in the Old Testament, kuna maneno mawili ya kihibirania ya metafsiriwa or ya metafsiri the word repentance or repent. Na kwenye Greek, kari sana. So kuna maneno mawili ya kihibirania ya natafsiri the word repent or repentas. The first one is nakam, nakam. Nakam is N A C H A M Nakam Nakam N A C H A M Nakam N A C H A M Nakam Nakam Imetumika places mingi sana John chapter number 3 verse number 9 the word repeat imetumika mahali para is nakam Nakam means to be sorry or regret or to pity. To pity. Takanirudie. The word repent or repentance. Kuna maneno mawili ya kihibirania. Ya nwe tafsiri the word repent in the Old Testament. Nimesema la kwaza ni nakam. Nakam means to be sorry or regret or to pity. The second one is shab, 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 S-H-U-B, shab, shab. Shab means to turn, shab means to turn or to return back to the starting point. Get this? Shab means to return or to turn back to the starting point. Kera, nimesema kwamba kuna maneno mawili ya kihibirania ya metafsiri the word repent or repentance. The first one is nakam. To be sorry, regret or to pity. The second one is shab. Shab. S-H-U-B. Shab. Shab means to turn back. To turn back or to return to the starting point. It is to turn back or to return to the starting point. Ni vile naweza kuwa unatembea kwa jia alafu utambue kwamba umekosea. Ukitambua umekosea unarudi sasa to the starting point. Ujue ni mahali wapi umepotelea. Hiyo ni maana moja ya neno repent ni kurudi kwenye starting point. Ujue ni wapi umepotelea. Hiyo ingine tumesema ni na to be sorry. To be sorry. Una regret. Hayo ni maneno mwana tumika kwenye Old Testament. Ni maneno mawiri. Nakam na shab. Tukasema kwamba nakam imetumika places mingi sana but imetukua tu place moja. Jonah chapter number 3 verse number 9. Imetumika mahali pale. But shab imetumika kwa Ezekiel chapter number 14 verse number 6. Ezekiel chapter number 14 and verse number 6. Hapo dipo shab imetumika. Ezekiel 14 verse 6. Don't miss this one now. So, kwa New Testament, kwa New Testament, in the New Testament, the Greek word, amboi metafsiri, the word repentance, is metanoia. Metanoia is repentance. Metanoia. Metanoia. Metanoia is m e t a n O E A metanoia metanoia means what to change one's mind to change one's mind or to think differently or change of purpose that has been formed change of purpose that has been formed nimesema metanoia means what 
to change one's mind, to think differently. Or change of purpose that have been formed. So mpaka hapo I believe tuko pamoja. So nime divine kurega na Hebrew or Old Testament na New Testament. Nimekuonyesha kwamba kwa Old Testament vile walikuwa na divine au oh, vile maneno ya Kibiblia na yarezea the word repentance. Na ki, in the book of in the New Testament Greek ina tafsiri namna gani? Nataka unifuatilie. So kuna mambo kadha you need to understand about repentance. Mambo very very important. Unafaa understand. So wakat Old Testament watu walikuwa wanasema kwamba wametubu. Walikuwa na change their behavior. Is a change of behavior. Get this. Wana change behavior. Wana change inje. But see in Dani, get this. Old Testament wa repent. Walikuwa na change inje, but not inside. But the repentance in New Testament in a change inje. Get this. In a change Dani ikitoka inje. Get that? So New Testament repentance ni inje fast Dani alafu inje. Get that? Naangalia my brother hapa John anasema sparing. That's why ni kwa naangalia that one. Ah. So lazima useme ni sparing ya that which word kwa sababu tumeogea mambo kadhaa. So tunatafutisha repentance ya Old Testament ni ya matendo action in the but the New Testament ni ya heart or mind is a change of heart or mind. Una change from inside out. Una change from inside out. Get that? So New Testament tukisema tuna repent una change from inside out. But Old Testament walikuwa wanajaribu kubadilisha matendo yao but sio ndani. Get that? Sio ndani ni matendo yao kwa sababu still nitakwambia what was the problem? Mm. Metanoia. <laughs> I believe from the Old Testament walikuwa na change matendo. Repentance yao ilikuwa ni ya matendo nje sio ndani. Ya new covenant ndi ndani ukitoka nje. Change of heart, mind, then behavior. Una change fast dani then ku change dani kuna kusaidia ku change inje get that But in the testament we're going to able change behavior but not dani very important very important to know that So if tuko pamoja niambie tuko pamoja wakati tunaendelea ku flow sasa very 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 important Hebu tuangalie the book of act chapter number 20 Verse number 21 Act chapter number 20 Matendo ya mitume 20 21 Act 20 21 Testifying both to Jews and also to Greeks repentance towards God and faith toward our lord jesus christ so repentance is towards repentance a new testament it is repentance towards god una change your mind unaona mungu una change mawazo yako unaanza kutazama mungu unaacha kuangalia yale mambo ulikuwa naangalia unaacha unaacha kuweka kwa mawazo yako yale mambo ulikuwa naweka kwa mawazo una repent una change your mind towards god una change your mind towards god Get that? Una change your mind towards God. Follow that. Very important to note that. So Act chapter number 20 verse number 21. It is repentance to uh, towards God. You repent towards God. Una change mawazo yako, unaanza kutazama Mungu. Unaanza kuangalia Mungu. Usiangalie watu, usiangalie kile ambacho unapitia. Usiangalie kile sasa kilikuwa kinafanya ukwame, but una change your mind, unatazama Mungu. Very very important very very important. Na nitakwambia ni kwa nini tunashughulikia mind sana? Kwa nini repentance ya New Testament it is about mind or heart. Nitakwambia ni kwa nini tukiendelea. Again another verse Act chapter number 26 verse 20. Act chapter number 
verse number 20. I'm laying the foundation act. Yes, thank you. I guess you God bless you. Au unaandikia watu vizuri sana. Act 26 verse number 20. Baibu nasema na magani. Don't miss this one now. Vile baibu nasema. But show, showed fast unto them of Damascus. And at Jerusalem. And throughout all the coast of Judea. And then to Gentiles. That they should, that they should, that they should mark this. That they should repent. And they should repent and turn to God. Can you see that? They repent, then they turn to God. You change your mind first. Then because you may change your mind, then you turn to God. Very important. You change your mind, you change your heart, then you turn to God. That's what Bible says to Magani. To gentle, then to gentle that they should repent and turn to God and do works meet for repentance. Get that? So I always say, I may repent. I love how you turn toward God. Repentance yako, lazima iku direct kwa mungu. Ukiripent, una repent towards God. Ukiripent, lazima utan to God. Get that? Haya mabu nita kuelezea vizuri sana. I'm laying the foundation. So it is repentance towards God. Una change your mind. Una change your heart. Una tazama mungu. Now from there, after that now, uta sukia koba, uta change your behavior. Sababu uki change your inside first. Inje kuta change. Maneke kire kina toka, ni kire kikondani. So if dani hakuja change, inje hakuwezi change. Na so many people, tunajaribu kuchange inje, hauja change dani. Rangu ni fote. That's why Jesus Christ alikuwa na ingiri ya mafarisayo. Alikuwa na ambia na mna gani? Wanaosha kikombe inje. Hawaja osha ndani. Unafa ukiyoshe ndani first. Then inje. Very important. Very, very important. Follow me closely now. Ay, 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 ay. So notice this now. Kuna watu wengi sana wamehubiri juu ya repentance. John the Baptist alihubiri juu ya repentance. John alihubiri juu ya repentance. Matthew 3 verse number 2. Matthew chapter number 3 verse number 2. Matthew 3 verse number 2. Matthew 3 verse number 2. Uh, let me start verse number one. In those days, John the Baptist came, preaching in the desert of Judea, and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. Repent, for kingdom of heaven is near. Get that? So John the Baptist was preaching repentance. And I'm being what to repent, for the kingdom of God is near. Don't miss that one. And then another verse, Mark chapter number 1, verse number 15. Mark chapter number 1, verse number 15. Follow me closely. I'm laying the foundation. Bado si janza kuingia pala dani kabisa. Angalia sasa. Mark chapter number 1, verse number 15. After John was put into prison now, Jesus went into Gary, proclaiming the good news of God. Angalia verse number 15. The time, I recall the same one, Jesus. The time has come, he said. The kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe the good news. Can you see that? Repent. Repent and believe the good news. Meaning, repentance in a proceed believing. When I repent, I don't want to believe. Get us. When I repent, when I change, mozo yao. Vili walikuwa na amini. Vili walikuwa maweka kwa mozo. Wana change mawazo yao. Wana amini. The gospel. Repent and believe. Repent and believe. So, John was preaching 
repentance. Get that? Jesus Christ was preaching repentance. Aya, wacha tuone. So to mean John was preaching repentance. Jesus Christ was preaching repentance. Apostle Paul was preaching repentance. Mahali tumesoma Act 20 verse number 21. So John was preaching on John the Baptist. Jesus Christ was preaching repentance. Paul was preaching repentance. All of them they were preaching. Don't miss this one now. Angalia Luke 24. Luke 24 verse number 47. Luke 24 verse number 27. Luke 24 verse number 27. Luke 24 verse number 47. Sorry. Luke 24 verse number 47. Let me start verse number 46. He told them, this is what is written. The Christ will suffer and raise from the dead on the third day. Verse number 47. And repentance and forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to add to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. Meaning, after the resurrection of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ said, Simon Magani, repentance itahubiriwa. Meaning, what one of us preach repentance? Manake Jesus Christ are fufuka. Narisema kifufuka. Repentance itahubiriwa. That's why today I'm preaching repentance. Komana risema koma repentance and the forgiveness of sin. Zitahubiriwa. We are supposed to preach the forgiveness of sins. We are supposed to preach repentance. To a neshawatu, do a repentance. To a neshawatu, vidu wanasamehewa dhambi. And that's why in Acts chapter number 2, when the Holy Spirit and kuja upon the 120, Bible nasima Peter ni simama, akanza kuhubiria watu wa mwari kuma hari pale, akawabia na mna gani? Angali Acts chapter number 2, I'm laying the foundation. Acts chapter number 2, aliwabia na mna gani? Acts chapter number 2, don't miss this one now. Look at this. Very, very, very important verse number 38. Act chapter number 2, verse number 38. The Bible says, Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. Get that? So, meaning, Bible na sama koma, even Peter, after kujazo on the Holy Spirit, ali preach repentance, ali ambia watu wa repent. There's it. Act 2 of that 8. Ali ambia watumbu, wa repent, wa change. Mawazo yao, wa change. Mio yao, wa fikiria tofauti. Wata kufikiria na dimension of the law. Wa fikiria na dimension of the gospel. Get that. So we are supposed to preach repentance. Peter will preach repentance. Paul will preach repentance. So many apostles will preach repentance. My question is, do you preach repentance to your people? Do you tell them how to repent? Uno idea the way to repent. Uno erezea. Vira nafa. Kumetanoia. Ani mambo tunafa kuya lewa. So if mpaka hapa tuko pamoja niambie. Bado tuko pamoja. Tunayadelea. We are laying the foundation. Thank you for those people who are sharing. Maneke still tuko pale kwenye foundation. Don't miss this one now. Act chapter number 17. Verse number 30. I like this one now. Act chapter number 17, verse number 30. Act chapter number 17, verse number 30. Act chapter number 17, verse number 30. Ah. <laughs> Bible nesema namangani, verse number 30. In the past, God overlooked such ignorance. But now, he commands all people everywhere to repent. So mungu na murisha watu wote kila mahari watumu. Act 17, 30. Watu wote wanafaa watumu. Manake, baiba na sama mungu na murisha watu wote wa repent. Ana command. Watu wote wa repent. Angalia sasa, why? Mm, I like this. For he has set a day when he will judge the world with justice by the man he had appointed. He has given proof of this to all men by raising him from the dead. So mungu na murisha watu na mnagani wa repent. Kwa mana kuna siku ya hukumu. 
That's why nataka watu walipent kwa sababu kuna siku ya hukumu na na command watu wote kila mahali walipent that's why tonight nimekuja kuongea juu ya repentance very important okay nisikize don't miss kile ambacho nataka tukuongee hapo maana yake kile ambacho nataka kuongea hapo ni very important Repentance is not number one. Repentance is not conviction of sin. Get that? Repentance is not conviction of sin. Very important. Repentance in a crude conviction of sin, but kukua convicted of your sin does not repentance. Mtu anaweza kuwa convicted juu ya dhambi zake na akose kutubu. So conviction kitu cha kwanza unafaa ku understand conviction is not repentance. Angalia act chapter number 24 that's a point number one you need to understand. Act chapter number 24 verse number 24. Act 24 verse number 24. Act 24 verse number 24. Don't miss this one now. V- Let me start verse number 22. Then Felix who was well acquitted with the way uh-huh, adjourned the proceedings when the Leas the commander comes he said I will decide your case. He ordered the centurion to keep Paul at a guard but to take him but to give him some freedom and permit his friends to take care of his needs. And in verse number 24, several several days later, Felix came with his wife Durusira, who was a Jewish. He sent for Paul and listened to him as he spoke about faith in Christ. Imagine, Felix and the Bible yake wametumania Pauli akuje aongeze your faith in Christ then we must remember again verse number 25 as Paul discussed on the righteousness see of control and the judgment to come Paul yakiendelea kuelezea juu ya righteousness ya see of control juu ya anaelezea Felix then bible inasema namna gani Aha. Felix was afraid and said at that's that's enough for now. In fact, anahubiria Felix na bibi yake. Wewe wewe wewe, wa guess je sema kama repentance is not conviction of sins. Si je sema repentance is conviction of sins. Nimesema it is not. It is not. It is not mark that. So Felix akahubiriwa akahubiriwa akasikia message kabisa akawa convicted kabisa mpaka akamwambia Paul enough for today usinihubiri mpaka hapo yani akasikia message imemuingia akasikia kwamba hii message imemshika vizuri sana akamwambia enough for today <laughs> akasema namna gani that's enough for now you may leave when i find it convenient i will send for you get that amekuwa convicted but had to repent so don't don't mistake this kuwa convicted by the way juu ya dhambi zako sio ati yako ume repent get that that's only like a process you are on the way but it's still not that's not repentance that's number one. pasa moro na kuona unaweza pasa mridi wako and take notes Put point number 2 to note Sorrow for sin is not repentance. Kuwa sorrowful does not mean you come to repent. Bible nasema kwamba godly sorrow leads to repentance. But sorrow is not repentance. Kusema ti unalia 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 that's not repentance. Kulia is not repentance. 
Nataka unisikize. Kulia, kulia kumaanisha kwamba umetubu. No, no. God sorrow leads to repentance, but it is not repentance. Unajua kuna mtu ambaye hajua kwamba amekosea. Sasa anaenda kwa nyumba anakaa, anajifungia, analia for five days. Anafikiria kwamba amerepent. Anajikogesha tini. Anarara kwa kanisa the whole night. That that is not repentance. It leads to repentance, but it is not repentance. Follow me closely. Point number three. Hatred of sin is not repentance. So, nimesema God sorrow leads to repentance. Wacha tusome hiyo. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter number 7. Oh. 2 Corinthians chapter number 7 verse number 9 2 Corinthians chapter number 7 verse number 9 2 Corinthians chapter number 7 verse number 9 yet now I'm happy not because you are made sorry but because you are sorrow led to your repentance get this now You are sorrow led to your repentance. So God sorrow leads to repentance, but it is not repentance. Don't mistake that. Usifikirie kwa maana umelia Mungu ati you may repent. No. Kulia kwa nyumba peke yako, kujifungia kwa nyumba kulia peke yako, haimaanisha kwamba umetumbu. No. No, 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 no. Nimesema point number 3, kuchukia dhambi hakumaanisha kwamba Umetubu. No. Ah. Ukiripent by the way unachukia dhambi. Get this. But I just kusema kwamba nimechukia hiyo kitu does not mean umechange dani. Kusema umechukia kitu haimaanisha kwamba umechange dani yako. Tumesema repentance in the new covenant lazima kuwa na change inside your heart and your mind lazima it change then from there behavior change change is that inje change change is that done not inje ndani alafu inje ku change there are so many people today wanatukia usharati bado wanafanya usharati there are so many people today wanachukia watu kupigana but wanapigana there are so many people today wana, wanachukia kuua mtu bado anaua watu kwa mioyo yao is good to note that another thing to note promising to be better is not repentance Promising to be better is not repentance. At mimi nitakuwa mzuri sasa. Mimi sitaiba tena. Kadis, ku promise ya kwamba utakuwa mtu mzuri, that's not repentance. No. You don't need to promise you to come to mzuri. Unafaa u change from inside. Change from inside. Thank you Lilian. Yes. Nakuja hapa kwa transformation. Nikaelezea sasa what is repentance? Vizuri na vile unafaa kutambua. Kwa hiyo kuna watu ambao hata kwa familia, au ukikosea bibi yako au 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 rafiki yako unamwambia mimi sitarudia tena. That one does not mean that ya kwamba umerepent. Mara ngapi tusaisema kwamba tutarudia na tunarudia? Mara ngapi tusai promise to change na hatuja change. So ku promise you change is not repentance. Let that change itoke ndani. Waacha kuwa na change ndani. Unless u change ndani. <laughs> Bado uta struggle. <clears throat> follow me closely. Follow me closely now. Uh-uh. 
Nataka unisikize sasa na unielewe hapa. Unifuatilie vizuri sana. Ukiripent <laughs> unachukia dhambi. Mbali kuchukia si kumaanisha kwamba umeripent. Notice this now. Turning from one sin is not repentance. Turning from one sin, one just one sin is not repentance. You must deal with the root. Kuna watu wa sababu umetusi mtu. Unaenda unaambia father nimekuja baada zako Mungu nina tumbu. Hii dhambi ya kila wakati ninatusi watu. Nisikize. Just because umesema ati <laughs> umeacha kutusi watu that one does not mean uh, mean ya kwamba umerepent. Maana hiyo ni tunda. Get this. Bible inasema namna gani mtawajua kwa matunda yao. Mtawajua kwa matunda. So kutusi ni tunda. Na inamaanisha kwamba kuna root kwako. Lazima udiri na root ili sasa tunda lisipate kutokea so many people wana deal na matunda unachuna matunda pasa moredi una follow closer yes this wanataka watu wafuate kabisa that's why so many people today ukifanya usharati unaambia baba baba nimetumbu usharati come on nisikize david wakati alilala na bezesheba hakwenda kuambia mungu mungu Nimeraa na Bethsheba no alitumbu hati yake alisema God create in me a clean heart alijua kwamba kwa moyo wake kuna usharati The Bible says if you look learn to a woman last free you have already committed nisikize if you look learn to a woman last free you have already committed so ukitazama mwanamke alafu mtamani huwa fast umetena get this nataka unifikize hapa haimaanisha kwamba ukimwangalia ati una sharati ndani no bible inasema if you look at a woman last free you have already you have already you have already so in your heart una usharati that's why una sharati ndani ya moyo wako una matusi that's why una tusi Get this. Ndani ya moyo wako unachuki, that's why unachukia watu. Ndani ya moyo wako una hasira, that's why unakasirikia watu. Bado ukienda sasa. Ndarau ni leo hapa. Eh, hey, sasa ukienda ukifanya saa hii useme kwamba ati nimetusi mtu, enda before God. God. Nimetumbu matusi. That's not repentance. Unajaribu kutuna matunda. Na hauja hauja deal na root. Hauja deal na root. Huyo mtu atakaa one week alafu atusi mtu tena kwa sababu ule mtu uko ndani. Bado utatoa matunda tena. Na nilisema hapa another time. Bible inasema kwamba muta muta mtawajua kwa matu, matunda. Get that? Mtawajua kwa matunda. Tumesema kwamba ukimtamani huwa umesharati fast kuna usharati uko ndani ndio unakufanya umtamani Kabis kuna kusharati kuko ndani yako kunafanya umtamani Okay let me surprise you now Angali the book of Mark chapter number 7 Mark chapter number 7 Mark chapter number 7 verse number 21 Mark 7 <laughs> Let me start verse number 20 Mark 7 verse number 20 He went on Nisikize si kwa leo tunataka si kwa leo wacha kubadilisha nje na haujabadilishwa ndani Ah uh, unisikize Ukiambia Mungu kwa sababu baba nimefanya usharati baba. Oh God. Oh Jesus. Kulia, hakuna kitu ufanye yule kulia unalia. Na mtu ukiambia God, God, God. Baba nimesharati ni ondele usharati hakuna kitu unafanya. Kwa sababu usharati ni tunda. 
Kumaanisha kwamba ndani yako kuna mti na sio mti tu kuna seed. Kuna seed ambayo umeproduce sasa ile tuna unless uproot that seed bado utasherati tena that's why watu ambao wamezoea kutubu sherati wana sherati one month wana sherati another week that's why we have so many believers wana sherati kwa sababu wanatubu vibaya there is no change of heart there is no change of mind hawajangoa kile kiko ndani nakuja nakuja usijalie nakuja hapo <laughs> i'm laying the foundation hebu angalia mark chapter number 7 Verse number 20 then verse number 21 He went on He went on What comes out of a man is what makes him unclean Can you hear that What comes out of a man inamfanya unclean Skiza hapa Verse number 21 For from within For from within For from within verse number 21 for from within out of men's hearts out of men's hearts come evil thoughts so evil thoughts zinatoka wapi si kuingia zinaingia zinatoka kwa heart so ziko ndani so ukiona mtu ambaye anafikiria vibaya kufikiria vibaya kuko ndani yake get this sexual immorality iko wapi kwa heart theft manda so ukiona mtu akiua moyo wake umejaa kuua that's why anaua so hati yake isipo change bado ataua hata kusema i'm sorry hata akiria hata kichukia kuua as long as moyo wake hauja change ataua tena hello are we together Angalia Romans chapter number 7. Follow me closely now. Na kuonyesha kwamba ni nini unafaa kuelewa. My YouTube my YouTube is referred Kevas Karanja, referred Kevas Karanja. Kuna watu wengi sana wanaokiniuliza my YouTube, referred Karanja. Nitaiweka hapo. Don't miss this one. Don't miss this one now. Romans chapter number 7. That's a thing. Leo tumekuja kwa pruti mti ishi ya kutubu kila wiki una change first inside inside after you change inside then una change behavior lakini siku jaribu kurekebisha behavior na hauja change ndani tunakuja hapo hatujafika hapo i'm laying the foundation hii topic ni very important sina haraka angalia vile paul alisema Ah uh, look at this. <laughs> I like this. We know that the law is spiritual. But I, I am unspiritual. Sold as a slave to sin. Verse 15. I do not understand what I do. Ni Paul anasema. Get this now. I do not understand what I do. Haji kile ambacho anasema anafanya. For what I want to do I do not do. Bwana anasema kwamba kile ambacho huwa natamani yafanye hafanyi. Kile ambacho hataki ndicho anafanya. Get this. And if I do what I do not want to do, I agree that the law is good. Verse 17. As it is. It is no longer I myself who do it, but it is a sin living in me. Living me so Paul anasema kwamba if unajaribu kufanya kitu kile kizuri nashindwa nakuta kwamba anafanya kitu kimbaya get this anatamani kufanya yani ndani yake anatamani kama vile watu wengi sana wanatamani unatamani ya kwamba kuanzia siku ya leo mimi nitakuwa serious na Mungu mimi nitakuwa mtu ambaye ni wa kuomba mimi nitakuwa mtu ambaye ni wa kufast mimi hata nitajitorea kwa ukoo nitajitorea kwa mambo ya Mungu unasema hivyo but unasikia kwamba sio hivyo sio hivyo kile ambacho unatamani kufanya haufanyi kile ambacho hautaki kufanya licho unafanya pole akisema kwamba mimi si mimi sasa si mimi asema kwamba kuna dhambi ndani kuna seed ndani 
ndio na produce hiyo tuna asipotini na hiyo inja ni problem how is it change your behavior unless you are transformed fast ndani yako lazima transformation it take fast within you Lisikiza video alisema I know for I know that nothing good lives in me that is in my sinful nature for I have the desire to do what is good but I cannot call it out for what I do not have as 19 for what I do is not the good I want to do no the evil I do not want to do this I keep on doing unless you understand that's that's the gospel now unless you understand hapa uta miss kila kitu that's why tunatubu vile hatufai kutubu tunachuna matunda na nimuuliza swali how can you have an avocado tree umezaa avocados alafu chuna those avocados useme ya kwamba sasa nimeondoa avocados are you serious umeondoa avocados season ya avocados ikifika that avocado tree lazima ita, ita produce avocados get that so the problem si avocados the problem ni kwamba kuna mtu ya avocados lazima uwe fruit how is it sema kwa sababu unakunywa pombe au unavuta sigara au una masturbate those are fruits those are fruits you need to deal with the root issue deal with the root unless you deal with the root utakuwa kila tabu una repent fruits na uta change manake the root is still there that's why what all the testament what going to change their behaviors when they turn around mahari wana start wana jaribu ku change nje manake sheria haigabadilisha mio ya ya watu get that the root cannot change their hearts Dasoe walikuwa nabii na mwana gani waweke sheria kwa mioyo yao na hawangeweka kwa mioyo yao kwa sababu already mioyo yao ni mbaya remember binadamu anasaliwa na moyo mbaya don't miss that kwa nisikize na unielewe hapa wakati moyo wa binadamu ah hebu angalie sasa angalie genesis chapter number 6 genesis chapter number 6 <coughs> Genesis chapter number 6 verse number 5 don't miss this one this is the foundation I'm laying Genesis chapter number 6 verse number 5 then the Lord saw how great man's wickedness on earth had become and that every inclination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil all the time meaning imagination na mawazo wa moyo wa mtu yanakuwa ni evil only evil so mtu akizaliwa before okoke moyo wake unakuanga hakuna kitu kizuri kwa moyo wa binadamu nothing good nilisema kwamba ukitaka kutusi mtu vibaya ukitaka kumtusi vibaya sana sana Ebu ngeri Jeremiah 17 verse number 9 I'm laying the foundation Bado si just start kuongea about repentance Bado tuko bari sana tuko bari sana tuko bari sana tuko bari sana But unless you understand he utakuta kwamba bado utaenda ku repent vile tulikuwa utachuna tu matunda Only evil continually So kwa moyo wa binadamu akizaliwa hakunanga kitu kizuri Hai angalia Jeremiah 17 verse 9 The heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure who can understand it can you hear that meaning who can cure the heart of a man it is wicked it is the heart the heart is deceitful above all things so ukitaka kutusi mtu mwambie gorweno Unamtusi vibaya sana kwa sababu moyo wa binadamu hakunanga kitu kizuri. Gadis. Gadis. 
That's why David. That's why David time alijua kwamba ameona Bani Sheba akioga, Geras alimuona akioga. Ah, akamtamani, akamtumania karara na yeye. Wakati alienda kutubu. Alitubu namna gani? Alimwambia father father create in me a clean heart. Alijikoma kwa moyo wangu kuna usherati. That's when a sherati. The problem si tu na kusherati. The problem yakoma kwa hati yangu kuna roots. So I don't need the repair of my heart. I need a new heart. Manake your heart cannot be repaired because your heart cannot be repaired. You need another new heart. Create in me a clean heart oh God. Na Mungu akamwambia another heart. Na wakati Mungu alimwambia another heart, wakati alizeeka akawa na joto, baki watu walikuwa namjua kwamba akiwa na wadada na watamani, bado nasema kwamba akaletao Abishal. Abishal kakaralia kifua. Nisikize, kakaralia kifua cha Daudi. Na Bible inasema kwamba Daudi hakulala na yeye. Daudi ambaye alikuwa naona bibi wa wenyewe na mtamani ameletao virgin. Virgin ashughuliki hapa na ako naye kwa kifua bata hamshughuliki why heart of david may change heart so that's why what we need is a change of heart if heart ya mtu haija change get this if moyo wa mtu haujabadilika hata aseme nimetubu nimetubu by the way nisikize kusema umetubu sio kutubu hello Lazima kwanza ukuwa na gospel moyo inafaa. Ai 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 ai. Excuse me. Mungu niombie moyo safi. Nataka unisikize na unielewe hapa. The issue is the heart. The issue is the mind. Manake wakati nisikize wakati umeokoka you receive holy spirit you receive holy spirit in your spirit get that so your spirit inakuwa justified once once justification is once in your spirit you're not justified twice you are justified once in your spirit then you receive the holy spirit in your spirit but kwa mawazo yako mawazo yako yanafaa kuwa transformed daily kila wakati yanafaa kuwa transform kwa sababu strongholds zinakuwa formed kwa mind as a man the thick and so he is kile kina control your mind kina control mtu maji david amekuwa virgin kwa kifua na anarara hapo na hakuna kitu amefanya na yeye na alikuwa anaona mama wenyewe si virgin mama wenyewe anamuita huyo ni mtu ambaye hati na mind yake ime change how i pray watu wa bwana nifuatilie hapa mioyo yetu na mawazo yetu yabadilishwe na Mungu hata bisaga akiralia kifua chako hauwezi fanya kitu na yeye hata mtu akimtu akikutusi wewe hautamtusi Adam mtu kikuangalia vibaya, hauna issue na yeye, hautamwangalia vibaya. How I pray today. David that's why David akirushiwa mshare na Sauli, hakuwa na uchukua, anamrushia tena. No! Anarushiwa alikuwa karibu kuuliwa, bali yeye instead anacheza kinanda, anapigia Sauli kinanda. Maneke hako pale ku revenge, maneke hati ya ku revenge hana problem ya watu wengi it is hard watu wanatubu wanasema wametubu watu wanambia baba mimi ni mtu wa hasira baba mimi ni mtu ambaye nimekosea baba ni mtu ambaye let me tell you the problem is heart unless there is change of heart and change of mind inje kutakuwa na problem change inside first kikobe kioshwe ndani alafu kuoshwa ndani then tabia zi change You are born again in your spirit. Your new creation in your spirit. You have the Holy Spirit in your in your spirit. 
But the battle is in your mind. That's why unafikiria vibaya. That's why unaona vitu mbaya. That's why we need the renewal through the knowledge. Through the knowledge. The, the more you receive the knowledge, the more you're being renewed. So when you ask me about this, whatever you're doing in your life, you're being renewed through the knowledge. The knowledge you're receiving, you're being renewed through this knowledge. Let me surprise you here. Hii itakustua. Get this now. Now, let's see. Hata kijaribu kupatea lazima irudi. Oh, imarudi. And don't miss this one. Don't miss this one. Don't miss this one now. Wacha ni kustuwe hapa. I'm laying the foundation. Yes, 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 yes. Anybody mna angalia na mwambie Danny first mwambie Danny first. Eh hey, mwambie ni Danny first alafu nje. Tume tumejaribu kudirekebisha nje sana but Danny that's why Jesus Christ alimbia mafarisayo ya kwamba wako kama kaburi ambazo zimerejeshwa zimerebeshwa nje. Why to wash the tower by the way? Alafu dani kuna mifupa ya binadamu. Dani kuna mauti. So many people today wamedirebesha nje. Wanavaa vizuri sana. Wanaongea vizuri sana. Wanaenda kanisa. They do speaking tongues. Wana prophesy. Wanaombea watu, but mioyo yao imebeba chuki. There is no change. There is no transformation ndani ya mioyo yao. Let us look at the true repentance. Uh, let me surprise you. Let me surprise you. Hebu angalia hii verse before tuingie nani. Na bado sijaanza, sijaanza. Hii ni introduction. Nitakwambia nikianza. Hii ni introduction. Nikianza nitakwambia nimeanza. Angalia John chapter number 13. John chapter number 13. Woo! <laughs> Ala la 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 shababu zali malova sanda Angalia John chapter number 13 let me surprise you let me surprise you let me surprise you Angalia John John chapter number 13 John chapter number 13 are you there Angalia John chapter number 13. I like this. I like this. Verse number 2. <laughs> Jesus Christ in wakati wa badhaka. Bible nasema kwamba and supper been added. Supper been added. The devil have in excuse the devil into the heart of Judas Iscariot Judas Iscariot Simon's son to betray him So nataka tuone hapa Judas hakuwa na idea ya kubetray Jesus Are we together Judas hakuwa na idea kuja betray Jesus but shetani alikuja <laughs> Now excuse in introduction in repentance I have not started Usidaganywe na mtu nina nimeanza kuhubiri repentance no by the way niko bari sana So mini Judas Iscariot hakuwa na idea Gadis ya kumsariti Yesu. Bali shetani yakaja akaweka heart ya kumsariti. Aliweka kwa moyo wake heart ya kumsariti. So kwa moyo wake hakukuwa ni kuwekwa kuliwekwa. Watu wengi sana wanawekwa ndani ya meo yao vitu. So unaona kile wanafanya kiliwekwa. Can you see that? 
Nani ambaye aliweka kwa moyo wa Judas? Iscariot. Yes, we are still in the genesis of repentance. We are yet to kuenda mpaka revelation ya repentance. Tuko genesis na mpaka tuende mpaka revelation ya repentance. Yes. Nataka kwanza niondoe mambo ambayo yamekuwa kwa mawazo. So Judas Iscariot hakuwa na idea, hakuwa anataka kumsariti, but aliwekwa ndani ya moyo wake. Get that? Aliwekwa moyo wa kumsariti. Get that? Amewekwa then after kuwekwa, angalia verse number 27. Don't miss this now. Don't miss this one now. <laughs> eh hey, angalia verse number 27 And after soup Satan entered into him then said Jesus unto him take thou that that thou doest do quickly get that so first shetani aliweka moyo wa kumsariti Yesu ndani ya Judas that's John chapter number 13 verse 2 Then John chapter number 13 verse number 27 shetani akaingia ndani ya Judas meaning shetani hakuwa ndani ya Judas shetani ili apate nafasi alimuingiza sasa kwa moyo wake ushariti nao then from now akaingia ndani na hivyo ndivyo shetani anafanya mpaka wa leo anaweka moyo wa kufanya kitu moyo wa hasira moyo wa kuchukia watu moyo kufanya usipo nisikize usipokataa anaanza sasa ku control through that aliweka fast heart nisikize heart alafu akaingia ndani mimi kwa Judas kuna nini na nini kuna heart ya shetani na kuna nani shetani ndani alafu Judas akaenda akawa rimosifu akawa analia Analia na moyo uko pale umewekwa na shetani yako ndani but akalia nisikize alienda akalia after ku betray Jesus nimeuta kitu baya akachukua pesa akarudisha geda akachukua pesa akarudisha zile alikuwa amelipwa so anajaribu kujibadilisha nje but ndani kuna moyo uliwekwa na shetani akaingia hatujaona shetani akitoka na hatujaona ule moyo akiukataa so alikuwa anafaa kufanya nini ambie go create me a clean heart because I'm awake kwa moyo wake already umekuwa defiled kuwa na clean heart then alafu akatae shetani ambaye yako ndani aende Judas yakuwe sawa but Judas that's why alirudisha zile pesa bara kaenda kajinyonga hoi kwa maana shetani bado alikuwa ndani na moyo wa shetani ulikuwa ndani shetani akamwonyesha jiwe akafanya zaidi nje behavior anajaribu kuchange but ndani shetani aliweka moyo wa kumsaliti Yesu na akaingia ndani so hakuchange kuchange nje na kuchange nje akajiua maneno so many people wanajaribu kubadilisha nje but ndani kumewekwa moyo fulani jamaa lilia Jamaa anakaenda juu ya mti. Akajinonga akaanguka na hiyo branch ikakatika. Tuba yake ikapasuka. Mara na maini katoka nje. Alikuwa na opportunity ya kutubu. Mara katubu vibaya. We have the opportunity. That's why so many people today wana struggle na dhambi. And the Bible says in Ezekiel, them that are born of God does not continue to sing. Wale mbao wamezaliwa na Mungu hawaendelei kutenda dhambi. So dhambi haina power kwa watu ambao wameokoka. Why so many people today dhambi ina power kwao? Na Bible inasema kwa Romans 6, Yakobo tumekufa kutenda dhambi. Na dhambi we are no longer sin is no longer our master. The problem ni kwamba mioyo yetu na mauzo yetu hayanja change. If mpaka hapa tuko pamoja niambie tuko pamoja. I'm laying the foundation. Ah 
Aya ya 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 ya. Yes, yes. So many people nasema kwamba tuko pamoja. Yes. <laughs> ay 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 ay. Nimekuwa nikitamani sana kuja kuongea hii topic ya repentance sababu nilikuwa najua kwamba so many people So nataka niogee mambo kumi sasa before nianze ku kuogea about repentance. Nikiongea haya mambo kumi nao na start about repentance. Nataka niogee haya mambo kumi nao about repentance nao. Alafu nao ni start. <laughs> ay 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 ay. So many people are sharing this one. So many people are share. So many people are share this one. Eh, leo tunabadilika leo. Leo. Leo lazima watu watatubu vile wanafaa kutubu. Thank you thank you thank you thank you. Tumeripeti kama nation. Tumetubu aje. Tumetubu aje. That's why tunatubu kama taifa na bado mpaka wakubwa wanachukiana. That's the thing. That's why tunatubu kama kanisa na mapasa wanachukiana. Okay now. Wacha nionge mambo kumi. Sasa nianze kuongea about repentance now. Uh, siju ni mambo 10 au ni 15. Number one. <laughs> Kuna mambo ambayo unafaa. Unafaa ku understand now about repentance. Nimeongea kuna mambo kadhaa kama tano. Yara mnaanisha kwamba ukutubu sio mambo ambayo umeelezea hapo. Yes, mambo 10 pasa mridi sasa ni introduction. Eh hey, Kenya, John ndio ya Kenya tunaosha vikombe nje. Tunaenda tunaitwa ubuni tunaenda tuna tunaosha nje. Sababu if tunaosha ndani. Tunafaa, tunafaa mpaka viongozi. Masai wakati wa COVID wakue kitu kimoja mpaka wa leo they are not kitu kimoja. Ni waritubu. How? <laughs> Magi Moroki I promise you hatuwezi maliza. Sita kuficha kwa sababu uh, I don't think tunamaliza leo. I don't think. Na nataka tuongee repentance, tuongee confession, na tuongee forgiveness. Sasa so, haya mambo yanafaa awezi jua moja Awezi jua moja alafu ukosa kujua what about confession What about forgiveness Lazima ujua aina tano za forgiveness lazima nini So mambo kumi you need to go understand mambo 10 ya 10 na nini nitajaribu ni 15 watu lakini wacha nikupe 10 Number one, number one, number one. Number one, repentance is change of mind and then afterward behavior. That's the number one. The first thing you need to understand, repentance is change of mind and then after that, after one now change of behavior. You first change your mind and your heart. And of kile kitafuata it is change of behavior. So change of behavior does not come first. It is a change of mind that comes first than change of behavior. 
Very important. Nataka <laughs> unifuata vizuri sana nao. Nimesema number one. <laughs> Repentance is change of mind. Then change of behavior. So change of mind comes first. Then change of behavior. Change of mind now to change of behavior. You change your mind first, then you change your behavior. Through the change of mind, it will help you change. How to strong you change behavior? Are we here? Are we together now? You can change your mind. How to strong you change your behavior? Because I'm already done. You can change. Let me ask you this. You can do this. Ah... Dani yangu ni kipanda begu. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. If maybe kulikuwa na avocados. Alafu nimengoa. Nipande begu ya nini? Ya oranges by the way. Niweke pale ndani. Nita strong kupata oranges. Am I going to solo to get oranges? No. Kwa sababu nina seed ya orange nimepanda dani. So inje sita struggle kupata oranges. So niki sow that seed an orange seed sita struggle kupata oranges. So uki change ndani how to struggle na behavior. Ah 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 ah. Let me show you this. Angalia act chapter number 3 verse number 19. Act chapter number 3 verse number 19 Act 319 Ah don't miss this one don't miss this one don't miss this one Ah uh, yeah 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 Act 319 Act 3 19 Ebu tu angalia Bible inasema namba gani Act chapter number 3 verse number 19 Repent ye therefore Repent ye therefore and be converted Can you hear that Repent ye therefore and be converted so that your sins may be brought out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord can you hear that repent ye therefore and be converted so una repent first una change your mind first then una kuwa converted Gadi una repent or change your mind then you go converted first <coughs> Gadi is now follow me closely Angalia Matthew chapter number 3 verse number 8 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 Matthew 3:8 Matthew 3:8 Matthew 3 verse 8 Matthew 3 verse number don't miss this one now Ah the Bible says mark this Matthew 3 verse number 8 produce fruit produce fruit produce fruit in keeping with repentance produce fruit in keeping with repentance Meaning once you repent kuna fruits zinakuwa produced. Watu ambao watakuona wataona fruits. Wanaweza jua kana kama uri repent. But kile kitaonyesha kwamba ume repent wataona fruits. That's why after repentance kuna fruits zinakuwa produced. But how is produce fruits before you repent? Una repent then kuna kuwa na fruit zinakuwa produced. Produce fruit in keeping with repentance. 
change of heart, mind first, then behavior. That's number one. Number two. Are we together there? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love this one. I like that one. Like that one. Number two. Repentance is the heart. Repentance is the heart of the kingdom. Message. Repentance is the heart of the kingdom message. Very important. So don't miss this one now. Matthew 3 verse number 2, the Bible says, Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Meaning without repentance. Hakuna kingdom kuingia kwa kingdom. That's why message zote zinahusu repentance. Ziko zinasema na repent for the kingdom is hard. Repent in the kingdom. So repentance in a connect na kingdom. Very important. This one now. Mark this. Repentance is a gift of God. Repentance is a gift of God. This one is very interesting. Repentance is a gift of God. It is a gift of God. Repentance is a gift of God. Number three, repentance is a gift. By the repentance is a gift. Sasa ni meanza kuingia. Sasa naanza kuleka foundation kazuri. Hii foundation ni mzuri sana. Repentance is a gift. Sasa, now, angali hapa tuone sasa. Angali act chapter number five, verse number 21. Verse number 31. Act chapter number five. And verse number 31. Act chapter number five and verse number 31. Ebu dusikiza vizuri sana skiza. Him has God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and savior. For to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. So repentance is given. It is given. Unapewa repentance. The more you hear the gospel, the more you receive repentance done. Can you hear what I'm saying? A repenter is not saying ya kwamba umerepent. It is a change of mind. Na ni nini kinaleta change of mind? It is a hearing of the gospel. It is a hearing of this knowledge. So if you're not hearing this, how to pattern repentance? Maana ke repentance is given. The more you hear the gospel, the more you receive repentance. How? Maana ke it is a change of mind. Kama saa hii na kuhubiria una feel aje, hauje ada mahali kusema umetumbu, but unaona kwamba umeanza ku change. Hiyo change is repentance. That's a process. Umeanza ku repent. Hata without say you may repent. Okay, let me surprise you something. What and excuse at father, excuse. Kila mtu si anajua prodigal son. Kila mtu anajua prodigal son. Prodigal son was a son. Get this. Prodigal son was a son in the house of his father. Alipopewa urithi wake, akaenda kwenye nchi ya bari. Aka separate na father. A son bale meharibu fellowship. Get this. He is a son. Manake he is born once as a son. Baraka tu amekosea, ameharibu 
fellowship with the Father, not the not the not not necessarily relationship. Kwa sababu relationship yake na Father haijaletwa na matendo yake imeletwa na kuzaliwa kama son. He is born as a son. That's why relationship yake na Father ni kwa sababu I'm born in that family. Mimi nimezaliwa kwetu. Maizibia ni mtoto wangu kwa sababu nimemzaa. Wakati amekosea prodigal son alienda nchi ya bari akaharibu fellowship na father. Still a son but akaharibu fellowship with the father akaenda nchi ya bari akaharibu mali yake akapoda mali yake raha 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 kabisa then akawa akwa in want anahitaji akatafuta mahali anaweza pata kazi bara kuna mtu ambaye angemsaidia kenda kusaka ajirua pamoja mahali pale na seta zen moja akawa sasa anachunga nguruwe kazi ilikuwa mbaya kazi kazi ilikuwa na jisi bara kuna siku moja siku na siku moja alikuwa amekaa hivyo then the bible says what he came back to himself god is he came back to himself that was not repentance that was not repentance if you come back to yourself you see yourself repentance is toward god it is toward his father he is supposed to see his father not himself Nataka unisikize na kuja hapo nataka unisikize. Ah, sharabu kuza. Nataka hii kuingia kabisa. He came back to himself na akauliza, how many hired servants who are under the cover of my father, under the roof of my father? Wanakura sasa na wanabakisha. Can you see? Kile ambacho anaona kwa father, he is not seeing the father, he is seeing the food of the father, not the father. Ameuliza kwamba how many, how many hired servant? Servant ambao wanalipo wameajiriwa, that's number one. Then number two, anasema kwamba wanakula wanabakisha. So anaona sama tabo analipwa na anaona chakula kwa sababu ako na jaa anaona chakula he is not after the father he is after the food of the father that's not truly repent through repentance towards the father it is toward god anarudi si kwa sababu anahitaji baba si kwa sababu amejiona anahitaji baba anarudi kwa sababu anaona anahitaji chakula ya baba anahitaji alipwe na baba He is not seeing the father. He is seeing food of the father, the present of the father, the gifts of the father. He is not seeing the father. That's why alikumbuka, see father alikumbuka. Alikumbuka hired servants. How many hired servants? How many hired servants? Wale bwana alipwa wako pale wanakula wanabakisha instead ya kuuliza my father sasa ako namna gani my father aniniulizia my father anasema niko wapi instead ya kuuliza about father anaulizia about chakula then akasema namna gani i'm going back to my father nisikize then ni mwambie namna gani i have seen hapo duniani abiguni na niku Tena dhabi wewe get this now make me make me make me as one of your hired servant make me as one of your not servant make me as one of your hired servant There is why so many people go to church It is not to have an encounter with Jesus. It is not to have an encounter with the Father. It is because of the food. It is because of hearings. Kuna watu wengi sana wanaenda because of food kwa church. 
Wanaenda watabiri kutabiri wani kuzuri sana napenda kutabiri. Bali kuna watu wanaona kanisa watabiriwe. Don't go to church to be prophesied. Go to church to have an encounter with Jesus in his words. That one will change your heart. That one will change your mind. But if you go to church to receive a miracle, if you go to church to be prophesied, if you go to church to to hear the word of knowledge, let me tell you this. Those giftings they are good. But how far has it far kuwa number 1? Si nafaa kuwa number 2 or number 3. Wacha kwanza na rasta. Cha kwanza na rasta. Wacha kwanza to deal na mabwe repeaters first. Wacha kwanza to deal na mabwe repeaters na rasta kwanza. This one is very serious. This one is very serious. Mm. That's why what we today usipotendewa muujiza kwa ile church unaenda utahama. I promise you utahama. Hata akiwa na hubiri namna gani? Remember these are gifts. Na maybe your pastor is not gifted. Kwa hiyo gift ya faith. All those gifts are hearing. What if one of those gifts? But I'm aitwa kama teacher. Yeah, how we going on because of Sunday? What will you do utahama your church kwa sababu your pastor anaweza kuwa ni mzuri sana and teach the real gospel. Nitakuja huko. Let me ask you this. Kwa nini huwa naenda church? Why do you go to church? Nikikuuliza mahali unaenda church, kwa nini unaenda church hapo? Utaniambia ni kwa nini? Itana meeting. Mimi huwa naitana meetings by the way. Nikitana meeting ya deliverance. Oh my, watu wanataka hivi. Watu wana Afrika meeting ya deliverance. Unaombea watu watu wana Afrika hivi. <laughs> Itana meeting ya prayers. Itana meeting ya word expression. Karas. So it's very important. So the reason why the prodigal son anaenda kwa baba, anataka aende sasa nisikize, anataka arudi kwa baba. Ajiliwe na baba. Aanza kulipwa kwa sababu alikuwa anafikiria kwa mwozo wake anaweza lipwa zile pesa alitumia arudishie baba Hayo unisikize That's the problem of the prodigal son And Let me surprise you Let me surprise you now let me surprise you So alikuwa na mentality na usikize ya kwamba anaenda kwa baba tubu kwa baba amemkosea alafu amwambie make me Remember he is a son remember he is a son kile kile anakosea hapa nisikize kile anakosewa Charo bana sifa sana Charo We go to church to seek the kingdom Believers don't seek the kingdom they carry the kingdom Luke 17 verse number verse number 21 The kingdom of God is within us once you get saved you have the kingdom in you So now unaanza kuoperate na principles of the kingdom Wale ambao wana seek the kingdom ni wale ambao hawajaokoka Wale ambao wameokoka you are now in the kingdom the bible says ukiokoka you have been translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of marvelous light so ukiokoka you are already in the kingdom and the kingdom is in you so now unaanza kuoperate na principles of the kingdom ah so akarudi sasa kwa baba gadis wakati alikuwa kwa gates He thought he would see the father. He did not see the father. The father was kill a time waiting for the son. Wakati sana rifika kwa gate when father saw the son. Get this, when the father saw the son. That is John. God bless you. That's it. Alituona sasa. Ametuona. Sisi tulimuona alituona katachugua katuchagua kwa ndani yetu. Get this now. 
Follow me closely now. So the father account a son called gate in accordance to the law. <laughs> uh, uh, get this. Get this. When father saw the son, son haku and father, father saw the son. Even before son confessed, even before son make me like one of the hired servant. Before some higher mambo, Baba Aripomona Kwa gate, place of judgment. In a corner of the road, I go for eight hours there. What he did, man, like he was a stubborn son. I go for kuriwa kwa mawe kwa gate. But father, how come you are gate? Instead, the Bible says when he saw the son, he had compassion on him. I come hurumia. Let me tell you, it is because of the masses of God we are alive. Does it? Nakuja hapo. <laughs> repent as not saying akoba ni repent. It is a change of mind. Na lazima ikuja through the orange. Let me suppress you now. So babake ali nisikiza. So the father ali narrow the gap. The gap that was there between the son and the father. The Bible says father ali kimbia. Remember kurigana sheria za Kiyahudi father hakuwa nafaa kukimbilia son son alikuwa nafaa kukimbilia father but hapa father akakimbilia son akanaro the gap akanaro the gap wakati alifika mahali palikuwa na son mm. unisikize sasa aka the bible nasema na akamhaga na akamkiss remember analuka vimbaya remember ako na nguo mbaya haja change nguo Haja confess. Excuse me. The son wakat ali ali hagiwa na baba ake. Akasikia the laugh. Manda ke father ali yonesha son his laugh. So when the son ali realize the laugh of the father although ame kosea. Excuse me. When the son ali realize the laugh of the father Although alikuwa amekosea na kaenda inchi ya bari na katumia mali yake vibaya wakati alielize father you still love me this way although nimekosea although nilikuacha although sikusema nikia you still love me father huwa wakati alitabua the heart of the father that's a time that's a time i repent kwa ile jane fa ari sema namna gani nisikize father ni ukomokosea but hakusema hakusema excuse hakusema hakusema make me like one of the higher servant wakati aliyembelesiwa wakati aliona the, the love of the father that the time i confess yakoba mekosea But now akapoteza ile idea kusema kwamba mimi ni servant akachukumbuka kwamba oh, I'm not a servant I am not a hired servant I am a son hiyo kaitupa Maneke you must first realize although mekosea still God love you although metenda tambi bado Mungu anakupenda kwa maana Mungu hakukupenda kwa maana haukukosea alikupenda hata before uokoke hata time umekosea still anakupenda realize the love of the father first and embrace that love of the father once you see the love of the father that's the time to to confess in the right way Let me surprise you. Look at this. Look at this. Don't miss this one now. Very important. Very very important. Get this. 
Number is it number three or number four? <laughs> Another thing you need to understand about repentance. The goodness of the Lord leads to repentance. The goodness of the Lord leads to repentance. Goodness. 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 Romans 2 verse number 4. Yes. The goodness of the Lord leads to repentance. So kile kinafanya mtu a repent. Commander may understand the goodness of God. Once you understand the goodness of God, una repent. That's why the time son a repent. The goodness of the Father. Oh, Father, you still love me. He saw the goodness of the Father. There's a time now I change mawazo yake. I can change mawazo yake. I want to say, I want to take a baba. I want to one of the hired servants. I can change him. Mind will change. I can tell you the goodness of the Father. So once you realize the goodness of the Father, you come and to my Jesus Christ akufa for your sins before uzaliwe. Once you see the goodness of the Father, you will repent. So what when I repent, wakijua the goodness of the Father, the goodness of the Lord leads to repentance. Romans two verse number four. Yeah, yeah, love if you can go deeper, Haji, deeper, namna gani, why namna gani? What is the meaning of that verse? Takuja kuja kuja one of these five days. Let me surprise you. Let me surprise you. Watch and cool Jesus Wari. Do you know the story of Luke chapter number five? If you have to go to the house, you have to go sana. Iri to the I want to go deeper now. Yeah, if tuko pamoja niambie tuko pamoja kabisa hapo. Haya, nisikize hapa, nisikize. Uh, in Luke chapter number 5, there is a very interesting story there. A very interesting story there. Peter walikuwa na vua samaki. The whole night hawakupata kitu. Hawakupata kitu. Whole night. Then Jesus Christ akaja in the morning. Akambia Peter, Peter just give me your boat. He borrowed Peter's boat. Then na kaingia kwa boti ya Peter akaitumia kama platform kama pulpit akahubiri from the boat of Peter Then Peter hakutoka Peter alikuwa hapo nani wakati Jesus aliingia kwenye boat of Peter alimwambia songeza from the land Hey I like this Look 5 tuangalie Luke 5 Luke 5 wakati disciples walikuwa na vua kwenye sea of Gennesaret Fishing on the Sea of Gennesaret. I like that. Sea of Gennesaret. The name Gennesaret is a broad word. It is a very interesting word. The name Gennesaret means garden of riches. Garden of riches or garden of prince. Or a place of herbs. Gennesaret is a place of praise. Riches and princes. So walikuwa wanavua hapo hawakupata kitu although ni mahali pa utajiri hawapati kitu kwa mahali pa utajiri Jesus Christ akaomba boat ya Peter kaingia then alipoingia akamwambia isongeze manake Jesus Christ akiingia huwezikaa kwenye same level ile ulikuwa lazima kuwe na change that's why when Jesus Christ aliingia kwenye boat of Peter alimwambia toka kwa run ondoka kwenye ground ambao ni dry Mna kwa wazi kwa na Jesus then you remain dry. Okay, wacha na hiyo. Then <laughs> akahubiri 
Taka unisikize. After now mahubiri napita kasikia mahubiri. Then Jesus Christ akamwambia launch to the deep. Now launch to the deep. Enda to the deep. Au haya maraba. Rekoza launch to the deep. So bona namwambia launch to the deep. Let me surprise you. The, the word deep there, the word deep there in Greek means mystery. So launch to the mysteries. Alikuwa anampeleka to another dimension. Alikuwa anahitaji ufunuo. Alikuwa anampeleka mahali kuna siri. Deep. So aliada na you understand I'm not uh, I'm not preaching from a story. Bali kuna kitu ndao kuonyesha. Then akapata samaki wengi sana. Get this. The problem Peter is making he. Bible inasema kwamba aliambiwa hivi. Get this and don't miss this one. Tupa nyavu zako. Throw down the nets. Pruro. But if you read the Bible, I'll throw net sigura. So I limit Jesus. That's why time we pass some kwengi net zilianza kuka net ilianza kukatika katika kwa sababu alikuwa ameambiwa atupe net mingi akatupa moja. So wakati aliona zile samaki aliambia Jesus oh Jesus enda mimi ni mwenye dhambi nani amemwambia ni mwenye dhambi so he saw the goodness of Jesus he saw the goodness of Jesus through the goodness of Jesus Christ then ah akajiona kona prana mimi ni mwenye dhambi Jesus Christ akamwambia ni mwenye dhambi ah 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 he saw the goodness of Jesus alikuwa ni mwenye dhambi amempa samaki the goodness of Jesus ikafanya Peter repent The problem we have we don't preach the goodness of Jesus we preach the judgment of Jesus the judgment of Jesus But the goodness of God leads to repentance It is a goodness that leads to repentance Ah Tomorrow ni siku Tomorrow ni siku. Ai 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 ya. Na no, watu wengi sana na complain about network. There are so many people complaining about network I don't know about. But so many people don't like complain about network. so many people Yes kuna watu ambao nimeona wamekocomplain about network. Uh, but ah uh, <laughs> So that one is enough for today. Maana time yangu naona imeisha. Hata imepita. Tomorrow pia ni siku. Tomorrow pia ni siku. Uh, oh network iko sawa. Oh sawa. The Ben Kim and confirm iko sawa. <laughs> Ah. Ah ya Oh, wow. Wewe kuna watu saidia ni perfect eh? Oh, wow. Sawa sawa. So anyway, tomorrow I brief God willing tomorrow nitamalizia. Mm. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So tomorrow toku hapa lazima tamalizia tomorrow. Uh, don't miss. Maana tomorrow na climax kwa sababu kuna mambo ambayo you need to understand. You need to understand tomorrow. 
uh, lazima nitamaliza but ni lazima nigaweka that foundation today at least at least if kuna mambo hujaelewa usijari <laughs> He, nikiongeza 10 minutes si watu watakuwa na mambo mingi sana. Eh, yeah, ukipewa mambo mingi sana yatapotea. Yatapotea. So at least for that one now, hiyo ni enough for today. But tomorrow tutakuwa hapa tumalizie hiyo topic ili sasa tuendelee na topic yetu. Yes, yes, najua tumefika namba 4. Mm, tumefika namba 4 lazima tuongee hizo point zimebaki mahali hiyo ni introduction now from there lazima niongee mambo mengine kama um, 15 after hapo mambo 10 sana lazima nitaongea mambo mengine kama 15 na afu nimalize then i will be through then takupea mifano ya watu ambao wame repent vile Peter repent vile Paul repent uh, na tumalizie tuone kama how are you supposed to repent biblically correct speaking how are you supposed to repent in the corners of the word of god Karo Muridi anasema kwamba thank you referred ST yes That's hiyo hiyo lazima au ah, ukiongeza hapo Hey shiko <laughs> nasema tumalize hizo kumi. <laughs> at least hiyo by the way mpaka hapa tumeongea although hatujamaliza at least unajua how to go about it At least umeelewa about repentance although hatujaingia kwa undani sana but at least una knowledge about repentance Tishirana kaza ati topic tunakunywa kama drips Eh Yes I I brief about the shika yote before the rapture. <laughs> uh, yes, very important. Alafu usi wakati umejua Bible how to confuse you. Mtu hata tukua kavaska moja, alafu from doctrine from one verse. That's it. Maneke sometimes tuna confuse you na kavaska moja kana form doctrine. I brief watu ambao wamekuwa kifuatilia haya ma, mafundisho yetu hapa ni mafundisho ambayo ni muhimu sana. And arasa ni kuambia kwamba <laughs> uh... <laughs> So Mungu amariki sana. Uh, najua kwamba sasa hivi almost graduate. Watu wengi sana wamegraduate sababu wamejua mambo very deep my graduate na ukiandasad hii ah 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 sasa ni hivyo sasa ni hivyo hautachanganyikiwa na maombi Uta, utapenya sana kimaombi utapenya sana kimaombi ya yeah, yapita yeah, yeah, unajua at least hata mimi nitulie saa tukutane tomorrow ah uh, So Mungu abariki sana. I know kuna watu ambao wana maswali. Tuna time tutakuja maswali tu. Siku moja atakuwa masaa mawili maswali. But wacha today and tomorrow ni dinner repentance ili maliza hiyo. Alafu tuendelee kuchambua revelation, tukaka kidogo na kuja confession na forgiveness nitanguza tu hapo. Kuna mahali nitanguza hapo. Very 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 important. <laughs> ah, wacha ni tuombe. <laughs> I agree with you. I agree with you sahi umekuwa mwalimu. Nikaba <laughs> nasema God bless you ever be a wonderful man of God more grace. Yes John Harry. <laughs> Timo de Karonga. Baba katika jina takatifu la Bwana Yesu Kristo wasana maana baba natupenda. Umetubariki baba umetumeenemesha Mungu. Umetuelimisha vile baba tunafaa kutubu Bwana. Badilisha mioyo yetu na mawazo yetu Bwana. Wacha baba tukakujue zaidi kupitia kwa neno lako. Wakati mwingi baba 
tusaikosa kubadilisha mawazo yetu mioyo yetu isawaifungwa bwana bali kuandie siku leo bwana tumbio mio safi tumbio mio safi jehova tumbio mio safi na mawazo yetu yafanye umpie kupitia kwa neno lako tunaamini kwamba tumebarikiwa na tazidi kubarikiwa na baba hawa watu watu wamenifuata na wale ambao watakuja kufuata baadaye utazidi kuinua na kuwabariki na kuwatendea maajabu tumekupa sifa na tumekuinua bwana familia hizi zimebarikiwa watoto wamebarikiwa na maisha yao yamebarikiwa we baba unastahili kuinuliwa na baba unastahili kupewa sifa tumekupenda kwa maana ulitupenda kwanza na umetufanya watakatifu na umetuosha kupitia kwa neno lako katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na hata kuamini Amen. 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 God bless you so much. Mungu wabariki sana. If kuna mtu ambaye anataka kuokoka acha uniambie if you want to receive Christ. You want to receive Christ. Very important. I believe mpaka hapa tumesoma sasa unajua vile unaweza hata tubu. Yeah, oh, oh, tomorrow tomorrow nikimaliza topic yote sababu leo nikisema bila toba saa hii uh, nita nini wacha niseme tomorrow after tukimaliza hii topic tomorrow hata sitakuwa na mingi sana nitaingia uh, nikiwa nimeanza ili sasa nimalize so nikiingia hivyo sana kamili pap itakuwa nimeanza kuongea so sasa take time ile huwa nachukua chukua kidogo ah at least kwa sababu nataka tomorrow nimalize Exactly sign a pap nitaingia ni alafu nianze kufundisha kwa sababu nataka haya mambo ambayo hatujaguzie tu mbona tuyaguzie alafu hiyo itaisha <laughs> Yeah my name is Reverend K Karanja and uh, go to my YouTube by the way in I download na weka kwa YouTube go to my YouTube Referred Kevas Karanja my YouTube channel go there na iweka hapo subscribe na Mungu awabariki sana if how you follow this page follow my page e referred uh, Kevas Kai Karanja for this page God bless you I love you all Yeah tulisoma pale kwa Hebrew 6 verse number 2 all of them wow what a Regina Moreti pastor mtumishi Mungu <laughs> I wanna hapo God bless you. Salimia Pastor Mulevi hapo Siro God bless you. Sign out, sign out. Rudia haya mambo tafadhali tena na tena kwa sababu I know ukisikia mambo kama mara ya kwanza. I know nimefundisha na dimension nyingine. But tomorrow I promise you exactly Sunday nikiingia saa kuna time nitaingia alafu nitaanza kuongea kwa sababu kuna mambo lazima nimuuliza tomorrow kwa sababu we have a lot of topics to tackle. Thank you thank you thank you. <laughs> oh, Biratoba ni tomorrow my number is 0726511792 0726511792. Mimi najiko nasema kwamba wonderful and powerful topic. Sasa repent kwa ile jina fa. Repent kwa ile jina na fa. Yes, I love you. <laughs> By the way hata nafikiria kuanza mapema. Hii ndio nafikiria. Ndio nafikiria John hadi nafikiria kuanza mapema. Don't miss. <laughs> Good night. I love you. Muote ndoto ambazo ni mtakatifu ambazo nitatafsiri tomorrow.